It is Monday. It's a brand new day, another week. This week we got something brand new right over here. It is the Capriccio Rose Sangria. This one is 13.9% alcohol, just like all the other sangrias out there from Capriccio. And I'm going to give this one a try and give you my honest opinion of it once I get home. Alright, I'm back at home now. Let's break this out. Try a cold bottle of this Capriccio Sangria Rosé. Okay, so here it is. It's the bottle of Capriccio Rosé Sangria. Like their other sangrias, it's just a twist off cap and it's got that distinct fizzy kind of a mist coming out of the top of it. The smell of it kind of smells fruity. The taste of it, it tastes like a white wine, kind of a tropical pineapple berry-ish flavor. Hmm. On the second sip, I'm getting more of a stronger, like a berry flavor now. Hmm. On the third sip, it's more of a tart kind of a flavor. Like a grape kind of a flavor. There's so many different flavor profiles in this drink. Rosa, what you think about that drink? No. <laughs> she doesn't really like it. She says it tasted like a rotten juice. I mean, it's not that bad in my opinion, but personally, I like the watermelon one better. It tasted like nerves candy. The original flavored one it was more smoother on the second, third sip, but this one, like the first, second, and third strip, it just started getting more of a different taste each and every single time. About halfway through the bottle now. What does it say that there's, okay, it says it's made with pineapple, grape, white grape, lemon, strawberry, orange, pear, apple, cherry, and lime juice from concentrate. That would explain all these different flavor profiles that I'm getting from this drink. The Capriccio Rose Sangria. Mmm, best served chilled. Grape skin extracts. It's made with that and elderberry extract. If I remember correctly, elderberry is a herb. It's some kind of healthy herb. Grape skin. So what, they peeled off a bunch of grape skins and it's definitely got that grape flavor to it. Thirteen point nine percent alcohol. This is as strong as a four loco is. If I'd have to give my immediate score on a one to ten, but not using seven as a rating for how good this drink is, hmm, I would say that. This is a six, just because it's refreshing, but I have a feeling that there's a lot of sugars in here. I've drank the black Capriccio before, the watermelon one before. I haven't tried the white one, but this one, I have a feeling that it's gonna be very similar to the other ones that I've tried in the past. And if it's anything like the other ones that I've tried in the past, I'm not gonna finish this whole bottle very fast because I know this stuff kind of creeps up on you too, like it. 
gets you more and more faded as time goes on. Holy moly, macaroni. I told myself I wasn't gonna finish this whole bottle. I'm starting to slur my words, so I know this alcohol is affecting, oh, excuse me, affecting, <laughs> excuse me, affecting my mental well-being right now. But it's nice to drink and kind of let the things from your day kind of fall away and... Hmm. So I done finished all of this Capriccio Sangria and I think I'm gonna get a good night's sleep. Thank you for watching this review of this video on the Capriccio Sangria Rosé. On this channel I do a lot of videos of different drink reviews, product reviews. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and like this video, comment, and I'll see you on the next video.